Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with my Panda palette for 2023. This is my second update and I'm going to go through the palettes that I'm panning because right now I'm panning two palettes if you don't know. The palette for this year is my Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay uh, palette. This is a chunky boy. There's a lot of product in here and I'm trying to pan as much as I can of it this year. So I'm going to go through that one and I'm also going to update you on my uh, old trusty Bonerasons. This is the one I was panning last year and I have a little bit left of this one so I'm going to keep updating this palette until it is done. So that's going to be the video today talking about these two palettes but before jumping into any of my progress if you're new here please consider subscribing I would love to have you in the family. Let's jump into the video. So like I have been doing I'm going to start with my next tutorials palette so I'm going to scooch to the side like I normally do so I can insert pictures here of what the palette looks like. So uh, the palette uh, last month looked like this. So you can see that I had a little bit of progress. I had been working on it one month. And in the first month, I basically just wanted to freestyle and use the palette how I felt like it. And in the past month, I had a couple focus shadows that I wanted to work on. And obviously, we for a bit more of the palette, but mainly focus on those two shades. And I wasn't necessarily focusing on reaching for every single eyeshadow, but I wanted to use as much of it as I could. So that is what it looked like last month. And... This is always really hard to hold up, but this is what this palette looks like today. So, for simplicity's sake, I'm just gonna insert the pictures here so you can see them, the comparisons, because it's easier than me holding up this really big palette, which has like the two sides, which is really difficult to show. So, the first eyeshadow in the palette is the shade Redemption, which is this orangey shadow. I didn't use this one at all in the past month, so this one um, you won't be able to see any progress on. Um, the next one after that is one of my focus shadows for the last month. I'm gonna have two focus shadows each month, uh, and this was one of them for the month of February, obviously because it's a pink, and February is Valentine's month. So, Blend and Snap, I wanted to reach for about 15 times, um, and I'm happy to say that I reached for this one 17 times. And hopefully you can also see that I expand the pan quite a bit. I'm really, really happy with the pan expansion on this eyeshadow. Obviously, there's a lot left in this palette because these eyeshadows are massive, uh, but I'm really happy with the progress that I have on it and the way the pan expands. So that is that shade. Next up, we have an eyeshadow that I have used a ton, and that is the shade Ivy. This one I reached for 18 times in the past month, um, and you can see that the pan has expanded quite a bit. I also have lowered the amount quite a bit on like the top left-hand corner, and the product is quite low in there, so I think it's going to be quite... I think the pan is going to continue moving and um, you might be also be able to see there's a lot of pink in this eyeshadow now because I have been using the two shadows next to it. You can probably see a little bit of swatch there. This is also like normally it's like a white shadow but it's more of a pink shadow now because of the fallout from Blend and Snap and Mikai. But um, yeah, I'm going to hopefully use that away and it's going to be more of a neutral kind of in the corner shade again. But that is the next shadow. Then we have the shade Slasher, which I surprisingly haven't used at all in the past month. Um, I just haven't been reaching for this in one. Maybe it's because I'm panning my Modern Renaissance still, and there's a lot of shadows that are kind of similar to this in there. Or like, it gives me the same vibe at least. Um, but I thought I would use this together with Blend and Snap, but I didn't. So this one is also untouched. Then we have the shadow 5AM, and this is a shadow that I have reached for five times in the past month, but you won't be able to tell very much because when I have used it, I have used very little of it. I think two or three times I reached for this one as an eyeshadow, but for the last couple times that I reached for this, I actually have reached for this one as faux freckles, and that is also what I'm doing today. So I'm mixing this one with the shade Mila, which I will talk about later. But some of the uses are for that, and obviously I use a very, very tiny amount when I use it as face, fake freckles. So that is the shade 5AM. Then we have the shade Roxy Catan, and this one I only reached for once. Uh, so I don't know if you can see any difference in this palette pan, but I hit pan on this one last month, so I want a little bit of a break from it. Um, I did pair it together with Blend and Snap once this past month, and it was amazing. I really liked that combination. I should have done it more, but I mean, I still have both shadows left, so I can continue doing that as well. Then we have the shade of Lau, which I have not used either. Um, I can, a lot of this palette I haven't used this month because I've been focusing on the ones that I wanted to get progress on, so more the pinky kind of shadows in here. So Vla I have not used. 
Mikai, which is the second focus eyeshadow in this palette, is the red eyeshadow. And as you can see, I was able to pan on this eyeshadow and expand it a little bit. And um, this one I reached for 16 times in the past month, so again, I surpassed that goal of 15 uses. So I'm really, really happy with that. And it took me eight uses in total to pan on it. And um, I had five uses the previous month, so three more this month, and then the rest of the uses I have used to expand it. I actually realized that I love this eyeshadow as a blush, like obviously very lightly. So I think at least probably five, six uses out of those 16 is as a blush. I'm wearing it that way today. You can see it's a very blush look. I uh, Basically what I do is I tap my brush in. It's a very soft blush brush and I tap that in very gently and then I literally either use my hand, the back of my hand to just tap off the excess or I use the tissue paper, use like tap off. I don't swirl, I use tap kind of thing until it isn't too pigmented and then I use that for literally both my cheeks over my nose and everything and I really like it. I, it gives kind of this, I don't know, like flushed kind of look and I really like it. So I'm definitely going to continue using this uh, that way and I think this one will look amazing in summer as a blush when I have a tan because it will give that kind of sunburnt effect which you know, you know that like when you're on holiday you just look really flushed and like your cheek is a bit like, you know, blushed from being out in the sun, you're warm and like you get this flush on your cheeks together with the tan. That's one of my favorite looks and I have not been able to recreate it before but I think with this eyeshadow I might be able to because this one, what I'm wearing now, gives me very similar vibes and I think that will work really really well in summer. So I'm really happy that I discovered that and I'm definitely going to continue using it that way. Then we have the shadow Mila which is um, kind of like a neutral brown. I have used this a bit in my crease, I think there's a little bit of pan expansion um, and I have also used this a little bit as faux freckles. I used uh, this one together with 5 a.m. to create like more dimension. So I've used it that way this past month again a handful of times, but I reached for this one seven times in total in the past month. Then we have the shade Underground, which is probably my least favorite eyeshadow in the palette, and I've used this one once. It's the only time I have used this so far in the project, so not great, but I did use it once, which is nice. Uh, but again, it's just not my favorite. I'm not bothered about using this one up at all, so we'll see how I go with this one. If I use it a handful of times this year, I'm gonna be pleased with that because I don't foresee myself using this one up uh, or even be closing to using this one up this year. Next up we have two shadows that I again didn't reach for, that is Plot Twist and Aura, which are the light blue kind of uh, matte shadow and the peachy shimmer. Didn't reach for either of those two so I'm going to skip over them. However, the next one is my most used eyeshadow this past month and that is Basic Truth. I think that's how you say it, Truth? Truth? I don't know. But it um, is the, like the nude kind of shade on the palette. I have reached for this one 25 times in the past month and I think the pan expansion is quite significant. Also, again, the eyeshadow is like getting lowered around the pan so I think it's going to continue expanding and I'm really happy to see that movement because it's giving me some hope with this palette that I can actually finish some of the eyeshadows. Then we have my favorite shimmer or favorite eyeshadow I think I would say in this palette and that is the shade All In. I reached for this one three times in the past month so not, you know, the most but um, I went for more kind of pinky looks this past month, so this kind of green shimmer wasn't in focus, but I did reach for it three times. And then we had eyeshadow U, which is the weird kind of green. It's the most unique kind of green that I've seen. I think it's very, very, yeah, unique. Uh, and I reached for this. I didn't reach for this one at all, actually. I didn't reach for this one. It's just not been the kind of shadow that I wanted to reach for in um, February, so I didn't reach for this one at all. However, Pride, which is the first eyeshadow on the second row, I did reach for five times. I still haven't hit pan on this one, which is surprising. I think it must be very, very close. Um, but this one isn't as putty-like as some of the other eyeshadows um, in this palette. I think Pride and All In are a little bit less putty-like because they have a bit more, I think, gritty shimmers in it. It's not glitter or anything, but it's like they use slightly larger particles. And I think because of that, it becomes a little bit more powdery rather than uh, putty-like which I actually like, but um, I think that's why it's not hitting pan as quickly. But I must be really close and I have 10 total uses on that eyeshadow. The eyeshadow Summer I did not use either, this is more of a summery eyeshadow to me, so I haven't reached for that one very much yet, but I am excited to do so when we get closer to the like, warmer months. Then we also have Mama Tutorials, which I have not used either. Last month I used this a lot as nail polish, but I haven't used this palette at all for nail polish this month actually, because I got an order from Cleona with some multicolor nail polishes. I'm actually wearing one of them today. This is Nielo. Um, I don't know how you, well you can pick it up, but I've been loving their nail polishes. Um, so I haven't been using any of these because I've been trialing those out. But I'm hoping next month to use this eyeshadow a lot as nail polish, maybe even some of the other ones, but I'm hoping this one specifically because I think I can finish it that way. Um, and I really do enjoy how it looks as a nail polish as well. I prefer this one actually to Pride. Pride I love on the eyes. 
And I tried it the snail polish once last month, but I just did not enjoy it that much. I mean, it was nice, but it wasn't anything special, so I would rather use that one on my eyes. However, my tutorials is opposite, and I prefer that on my nails. Then we have the shade Amsterdam, which I used once. Uh, it's not my favorite blue. It's shadow, like the shade of it is amazing. It's very, very pretty, but the formula just isn't. So yeah, that one I only used once. Then lastly, we have the shade Mr. Tutorials, which is another one that I only used once. Um, I like this eyeshadow, but um, again, it's not my favorite, so only one use. So that is my palette and the overview of it. Um, I'm really, really happy with what it's looking like. Obviously, I wish I would have a little bit more progress, but we are only end of February, so I have a lot of the year left. So I am excited. I know there's no way I'm going to finish this whole palette this year, which I kind of realized even at the introduction when I calculated up the grams in here. But um, I'm excited to see some decent progress on a few eyeshadows. I think right now I have really good pan expansion on Mama Tutorials, Basic Truth, um, especially this one, which is Blend and Snap, and even... Mika is getting a little bit more pan expansion, so I'm excited about that. So is Mila, to be fair, which is the brown shadow. But I'm really, really happy with how it's looking so far. We'll just see how it goes throughout the year. But before I move on to my modern renaissance, I'm going to talk about my next focus eyeshadows for the month of March. And I have decided to go with two more colorful shadows because I feel like those are the ones I'm feeling right now. I just want to color, use the colors in here before I get fatigued by them. Um, and the eyeshadows that I have decided to reach for as my focus this month is the shade U, which is this one here, which I haven't reached for this past month, but I think it's good for March and St. Patrick's Day, and it's like more spring look, so I'm gonna use this one. And then to pair with that one, I want to use the shade Blau, which is the light uh, yellow, which I think I can use quite easily in a lot of looks to blend out other eyeshadows. So those will be my focus eyeshadows for the month of uh, March. Like I said, I want to use them at least 10 times ideally 15. I think it would be a little bit harder to incorporate in everyday looks but I think I can definitely reach for Vla hopefully 15 times. But that is my update for my Nikki Tutorials palette. Before I wrap up this video I'm also going to talk about my modern ones, so let me move over to that palette. So my second panda palette, I guess, or my panda palette from 2022 is my modern renaissance and this palette is looking battered now. Uh, I had three eyeshadows left in here last month and this is what it looked like then. I'm just trying to finish these and I want to completely use up this palette so that is kind of my goal and I'm trying to really focus on this one. My goal was ideally to finish this up in the first quarter of the year which means that I have to finish this one in the upcoming month and when you see the progress maybe you'll be able to guess if I will or not but that is again what it looked like last month and this is what it looks like one month later so I have two eyeshadows left I have one more finish but let's go through the numbers uh, and talk about how much I used every single shadow so the first one in the palette is love letter which is this kind of plummy pinky magenta I don't know how to describe it Kind of shadow. Um, this one I used three times only in the past month. It's not been the most used eyeshadow, but it's quite similar in tone to the one I finished, so I was focusing on that one mainly. Um, I should have used it more though with the pink looks that I was doing in February, because now I'm gonna have to do more pink looks, although I'm a bit fed up with them, just to get this one done. But I'm gonna try to do so. I'm gonna try to finish this one up relatively soon. I don't think I can finish it up in March though. I think maybe in two more months I can finish it, but we'll see how I go. I'm just going to keep working on it and yeah, I'm very determined to get this palette out as soon as possible but only three uses on Love Letter this past month. Then we have the shadow uh, Cypress Umber which is this brown right here. I have nine uses on it in the past month which is pretty good. I mean, ideally I would have had a higher number but I'm really happy with that especially since I'm panning that other palette and more eyeshadows like us out of this project as well. And I'm really happy. I haven't looked back at the pictures yet, but I think there should be some pan expansion. And I feel like this one is getting close to being done now. Again, since it is such a pigmented and dark shadow, I don't know if I can finish it up in the next month. Uh, it might take another two months, but I think hopefully in two more months I can have both of those eyeshadows done. But we just have to see how it goes because, I don't know, I have so many eyeshadows and it all depends on what I roll into different projects and where like my <laughs> kind of panning journey takes me. So yeah, we'll see how it goes, but that is Cypress Umber. Lastly, which is the most exciting eyeshadow in this palette, we have Red Ochre, and that is this eyeshadow. It was this eyeshadow right here. I used this one 13 more times in the past month to finish it, and let me pull up quickly how many eyeshadows, how many times it took to finish. It took 92 uses in total to finish this eyeshadow in this project, uh, including all the uses last year. So yeah, very excited about that. I mean, 92 uses is quite a lot, but it's not 
too much I guess um, but I'm happy again with that um, use and having another one out is always really really exciting so very happy with this palette I'm gonna continue working on it and I guess my goal for next month it's just to use both these eyeshadows as much as possible. I don't think you can finish either of them. But yeah, just use them as much as possible and try to at least have them halfway done for next update. So I can have this palette empty at the end of April. But that is it for today, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video and this update. If you're doing a panel palette, let me know down below. Again, I always mention this, but I watch every single panel palette um, that is posted on YouTube. But if you're doing a panel palette outside of YouTube, let me know how you're doing. And otherwise, I hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are. And I will catch you in my next one. Bye, guys.